we're here at Exposed Treasures in Chester, Maryland. We're on the corner of Postal Road and Main Street in Chester. Hi, Josh. How are you this morning? Great. How are you doing? Great, great, great. It was wonderful to be here. I, I just can't wait to see all of the unique things that mm -hmm. you have in the shop. You want to walk around and let's take a look at what you have. Sure, absolutely. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of different things uh -huh. uh, here at Exposed Treasures. Um, we do antiques. Okay. Even though I'm reluctant to call it an antique store because uh, only about 30% of what we sell are actually antique. I have 10 vendors here that sell different unique items because we not only do antiques, we also do vintage items. We do books. We uh, have jewelry. We have a, this is kind of like our little boutique area where we have um, ladies handbags made out of canvas and oh. um, we have soaps and bath bombs and lotions and, and uh, we have a clothing line um, and then on top of, of all this we also make stuff like out of driftwood and oh. um, we do different things uh, with driftwood and and with uh, we do paintings mm -hmm. and we take old windows and and make paintings out of them and Josh I see we're in another section of the store. Mm -hmm. It's huge. You wouldn't know when you pull up outside just how much space you have here. Mm -hmm. So this is really unique. It's, it's eclectic. You have a little bit of everything, don't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That, that's one thing that um, a lot of people are always surprised about. They, they come in the store, and from looking out front, maybe, there's only a few parking spaces out front. Mm -hmm. But when they come around to the back, which is really the front entrance to our store, okay. there's like 40 spaces for parking and and then you come in the store and it's four thousand square feet. Four thousand. Yeah, four thousand square wow. feet. And um, so this is like my main room, mm -hmm. uh, and then it kind of like wanders back and and people are always like, oh, this is like a maze and it feel is. like they can get lost. Um, and like I mentioned, we have ten different vendors that sell a large variety of things mm -hmm. and um, and they kind of like I, I make sure they show me what they want to sell before I rent a space okay. because I want everyone to have completely different I see. kind of thing. So I have a lot of vendors who sell, um, we're high on like nautical and, and beachy coastal kind of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we have a lot of vendors who make stuff like myself, but also they make stuff out of like oyster shells and old wood and shutters and, and things like that. And uh, like you said, I, I do a lot of stuff with barn wood and make shelves and uh, tables and, and things like that out of it. So, Josh, I noticed you have your um, like an alley or a street here, and then it sections off into each cubby with your vendors. Everyone has their own little room, mm -hmm. and so and they're all like I said, very different. And so it's pretty exciting to you know people come in and they're like go into each room and they just like feel like they're in a different yes. store almost. Josh, tell me, how can people get a hold of you? What's the best way for a customer to contact you? Uh, well, we're here at 1628 Postal Road. Okay. And it's, like I said, it's the building with the big yellow awning. It's pretty hard to miss. Um, and people can go to our website at exposedtreasures.com. Okay. Uh, we do a lot of business on Facebook. Oh. So Facebook is facebook.com slash antiques and the number four okay. in all. Well, Josh, tell me about some of the most unique pieces you have in the shop. Um, well, I tell you, one of the most favorite things I've ever bought, and um, I, I think is like one of the coolest things ever, um, I just got these dinosaur eggs in. And as far as unique, like that, pretty much anything that we make, mm -hmm. um, I try to make uh, anything that I come across that's not already whole, uh, I try to make into something. Um, for instance, I, I, we were talking earlier about the, um, I have boat stands that I had and mm -hmm. then along came a boat ramp uh -huh. that was very old and made out of wood. So I just took the two and, and made a table out of them. We've had a great time here today Jeez. and we can't wait to come back and, you know, see all the different things that you'll get in and out mm -hmm. of the shop and meet some of the vendors when they're in. Yes. So this has been quite refreshing. Yeah. Thank you, Josh. Uh, thank you for coming out. Really, we really, really appreciate it. <laughs>